At more than 48 miles long, the Panama Canal is one of the largest engineering feats of all time, but it could be set to lose its title. In 2014, work began to build a canal to slice through Nicaragua, which would be more than three times longer than the Panama Canal and over two times as deep. This project, which will cost $50 billion, is the brainchild of Chinese billionaire Wang Jing and will move enough earth to bury the entire island of Manhattan, up to the 21st floor of the Empire State Building. That's a lot of Manhattan to bury, please don't do that. Unfortunately, the canal could destroy the country's entire ecosystem, and there are doubts about whether any governments actually want it. Regardless, it's scheduled for completion in 2020. What a world! This amazing green plan is designed to filter plastic and other debris from the massive garbage patch which exists in the Pacific Ocean. The Lady Landfill skyscraper would have three main functions, rubbish collection at the bottom, a recycling plant in the centre and housing and recreation above sea level for the staff. Waste would be heated in the recycling chamber and converted into a gas which could then be stored in huge battery-like structures and used as energy, turning one of the biggest ecological concerns in the world into something actually fairly positive. In fact, there are a great number of green projects which could drastically improve our future. It's been suggested that hundreds of currently disused oil platforms could be transformed into habitable skyscrapers, which would be capable of desalinating seawater, providing a clean source of water for millions who just don't currently have it. The existing oil drilling pipes would be used to draw up seawater, and the water movement against the tower could provide enough energy to power the site's facilities. While many countries are building superstructures and super cities, one country is building an entire archipelago. Off the coast of Baku on the Caspian Sea, Azerbaijani workers are moving entire mountains into the sea to create this new land. Known as the Khazar Islands, they will be like a country in their own right, consisting of 55 different islands with its own airport, yacht club, Formula One track, and 800 thousand strong population housed in its luxury apartment blocks. Even more impressive than that, the largest island will also be home to the Azerbaijan Tower, predicted to be the largest, tallest, I mean, building on Earth. In 2013, it will be estimated to cost $100 billion, which is significantly higher than the country's entire GDP. I'm sure that won't cause any kind of unrest. This luxury five-star hotel will loom over the holy city and will be so large that it will tower 45 storeys high above everyone and house exclusively millionaires. The top floor will house one of the largest domes in Islamic architecture anywhere in the world. It will contain more than 10,000 bedrooms coupled with more than 70 top-class restaurants. Although the Abraj Kadai will be the biggest hotel in the world when it opens in 2017, it pales in comparison to other projects in Mecca. A collection of gigantic hotels in the west of the city, known as the Jabal Omar development, is intended to house 100,000 pilgrims, while the Grand Mosque is to be upgraded to house 7 million people at one time. This vision for an entire city built on sustainability is being actively developed in Hanoi, Vietnam. Green Tech City brings together two pre-existing villages to create a sustainable urban centre for 20,000 residents, incorporating cutting-edge modern technology designed to suit the climate and culture of Vietnam. The city will include a corridor of green along the river with pedestrian-friendly residential neighbourhoods located nearby a towering commercial district. Canal water cooling, tri-generation plants, waste recycling and rainwater harvesting will help this city become a model for sustainable urban living. Although just a theory, the Dyson Sphere would be an incredible megastructure. Described by Freeman Dyson, the Sphere would be a system of orbiting solar power satellites which would completely encompass a star and capture its energy output. Since then, other variant designs involving a building and artificial structure to encompass a star have been proposed in exploratory engineering or described in science fiction under the name of the Dyson Sphere. Many of these proposals have not actually been limited to solar power stations. Many involve habitation or industrial elements. 
Most of the fictional plans describe a solid shell of matter enclosing a star, which is unfortunately considered to be the least plausible variant of the idea. But if anyone does work out how to contain stars within solid matter shells, give us a buzz. There's a project in China which plans to combine the huge cities of Beijing, Tianjin and Hebei into one giant megacity. Think of those you've seen in Judge Dredd and you'll probably get the idea. Home to more than 130 million people, more than six times the size of New York, the city would cover an estimated 82,000 square miles, more than Greece and Austria combined. High-speed rail links are already being created between the areas to allow people to travel around each area in under an hour, and President Xi Jinping has assigned special roles to each region, with Beijing becoming its cultural and technology district, with Tianjin being devoted to manufacturing. Work on the rail links began in 2013, and it's expected that they'll be in place by 2020. Atlantropa was a giant attempt to solve the major problem of European civilization by creating a giant supercontinent. Devised by German architect Hermann Sorgel in the 1920s, the plan was designed to allow Europe to remain competitive with America and Asia, and would have involved combining Europe and Africa into one huge continent, which frankly sounds like quite a lot of work. The need for mass migration, along with most of Africa being inhabited by Europeans, uh, meant that this idea never really gained traction, although following the Second World War, the Western Allies revisited the idea as they sought to create closer bonds with Africa to combat communism. But the invention of nuclear power, the cost of rebuilding, and the end of colonialism left Atlantropa technologically unnecessary and politically unfeasible. The Space Elevator is a proposed megastructure designed to transport material from the Earth's surface into space. Oh, that's cool. There are many different variants of the design, but all of them involve travelling along a fixed structure rather than using a rocket-powered space launch. The most commonly referred to variant of the structure reaches from the surface of the Earth, somewhere on or near the equator, to a geostationary orbit with a countermass beyond. Unfortunately, current material technology makes these structures impractical, but advances in carbon nanotubes mean that we may soon, in principle at least, have materials strong enough to permit this. Imagine pressing the button for an elevator. You probably have to wait a few days just for it to come back down. Oh, and it'll stop all the way on the way down, it'll stop at the clouds, and oh, I'm going to be late for my, my day in space. First world problems to the max. <laughs>